Time for us to head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. This one on head coach Kevin Stefanski. Hi, I'd um, like to comment on the um, defending uh, uh, Stefanski. Geez, he was, uh, you know, uh, coach of the year last year. And that was last year. And what has he done for us lately? He's been incredibly rigid. He does not... He does not change anything, you know, ever. Uh, not during the games, and you know, uh, and and just last week with uh, with Pittsburgh, you know, was was putting a rookie uh, uh, right uh, tackle on, you know, <laughs> one of the best edge rushers in the league, and 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 the guy was just burying, uh, you know, uh, uh, Baker, and he didn't change. Uh, Mary Kay Kevin, that's a rough crowd. Um, I think I was the one that said he was coach of the year last year. He didn't suddenly forget how to coach. Um, having said that, it, you know, everybody uh, is to blame when the team doesn't live up to expectations. Coaches, players, everybody. You know what, David? I think the very difficult thing about this evaluation and this season is trying to figure out uh, why it did go so wrong for Baker Mayfield. And I know that most people attribute a large, large part of it to the harness and to the injuries and all of that. And I think that's why it's, it's tricky because if that, if it's, if it's that, then the fix seems like it would be pretty easy, but I think it's just so much more complicated than that. And I tried to get Andrew to answer this. I tried to get Kevin to answer this yesterday. You probably heard me in these press conferences, you know, even trying to figure out how to word the question correctly to grasp what I'm trying to convey. And that is how much of Baker's struggles really had to do with the injury and how much did they not? Because we kind of get mixed messages on that. So, um, you know, if, if that was 20% of it, and that's what I'm guessing, I'm guessing 20% of his struggles uh, can be attributed to the shoulder. And then, you know, then you've got to look at the processing speed. Is he processing quickly enough? Was he not processing quickly enough because he didn't have uh, enough quality weapons out running patterns and it would be easier to process if you've got open guys? You know, I mean, there's just so much that has to go into it. But I would like to think uh, for Baker Mayfield's sake and for the Cleveland Browns sake and the sake of the fans, uh, that if you put some uh, upgraded pieces around there, you get Kareem Hunt back. Uh, as an outlet pass on some of the shorter screens and things like that. You got to get a little bit better protection in some certain cases. And then also, and this is a key part, you have to figure out how to beat what defenses are doing to Baker Mayfield now. I mean, he used to be able to just roll out and, and do his thing and hit the open man, uh, you know, play action, roll out and go. Uh, but teams are kind of taking that away now and they have to adjust to that.